Hello, here are some quick tips for teachers who want to access some research. Um, so firstly, I'm going to go to the website scholar.google.co.uk. Um, really simple. I've also downloaded, if you look up here, um, the widget into my browser. So I'm using Google Scholar, sorry, uh, Google Chrome. Um, if I just pop back to my website, just reload it here. Um, if I go to um, any um, keyword, so uh, I'm just going to click on any article here. So I've got an article here on um, physical activity in schools. Um, if I choose a keyword here, so I've got behavior for learning. If I highlight that there and press that little widget, it gives me three or four links immediately uh to academic research now i can expand that open all those things so that's a kind of quick win and um, if i go in here google scholar if i just type in uh, i'm going to do an example something i've been working on recently um verbal feedback in the classroom now if i just press respond you'll see here i have um 388,000 articles now nothing specific I'm just going to look for the last year, 2019. Now I've got 11,000 or 12,000. Um, I'm just going to put in brackets, uh, sorry, in quotations, England. I want to look at teachers working in England who use verbal feedback in the classroom. Now that's already narrowed down to 3,860. 3, um, let's just pretend I am an English teacher. So I'll just add that again. Uh, more. Um, in fact, I want to be very specific. English teaching. Um, now I've gone down to 613. I might want to look at live marking techniques. Let's see what uh, that responds back. So nothing. So there's potential there for me to contribute if I want to do some action research in school. Um, I'm just going to go back and um, let's, let's think about teaching Macbeth. So verbal techniques in the classroom to reduce teacher workload uh, of teachers working in England, teaching English lessons, particularly teaching Macbeth. Um, I've got 12 results. Now, firstly, I could potentially read those um, that it's achievable. Um, if I look down straight away, you'll see I've got some PDF references. This one doesn't here. This means these are open access and free. This one is locked behind a paywall. Obviously, if you're a member of the Chartered College of Teaching um, or Bira or Belma, someone like that gives you access to research, then you can access those. Myself being a member of a university, um, I'll be able to access that. But this, for teachers who may not have uh, links to an establishment, can access these for free. So that would be my top tip. Another tip I've got here is the app Pocket. So I'm just going to open up my Pocket app. Here we go. Um, this is on my phone. Uh, let me just see if I can log in here. Should I plan that beforehand? But um, this will link into my phone. So an email, um, an article, something I'd like to read. It downloads the data. If I go underground on the London Underground on the Tube, um, I can access all the information. I can highlight it. I can open up any app, uh, articles. So here's one here. On my phone device, it has the ability to read it out to me. So if I'm walking the dog um, or... Uh, underground it will play it through my headphones and um, any article so for example verbal feedback in the classroom again I've got the work uh, the widget pocket embedded in my um, Google Chrome browser I just press that link it saves it I can add some tags so I'm just going to put in here scholar um, and then that's saved and then that will if I go back to my Google, uh, pocket links you can see that's archived this in my list that will also synchronize to my phone so what I'll do is if you just squeeze your eyes down to my um, phone device you'll see my pocket app uh, loading here and you should be able to see verbal feedback synchronized there and um, so two quick tips um, if you're watching this, tune into my live Periscope video and you'll see a few other tips um, there for the uh, five research tips, particularly for the time poor teacher. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, thanks for watching.